which Hollywood movies best capture life in outer space? I would have to say, for me, Apollo 13. Houston, we have a problem. For obvious reasons, and um, gravity. Uh, and, and specifically because the way that they depict objects floating in, in zero yeah. gravity is, is amazingly similar to, to what I experienced on Mars. So. Though I do remember you telling me she wasn't wearing a diaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's not get going on that. because like, <laughs> She looks far more attractive coming out of her spacesuit than any of us do, and I'm, I didn't see her wearing a diaper. So. And you wear a diaper in space. You do. Yes. You, you must. Everyone should know that. Because you have to stay well hydrated. I kept telling Matt, we're not wearing diapers right yeah. now. Yeah. Not authentic. This is not authentic. <laughs> what was your biggest challenge during the shoot? Uh, probably the weight of the suits. Because I think yours are about 250, mm -hmm. um, 250 pounds. And ours, we got ours a lot, you know, um, less heavy because they didn't have to have all the contraptions in them. But I wasn't in zero gravity. <laughs> so I felt it. You're tough. I, yeah. And also, it wasn't a quick thing to use the restroom. So, like, if you see, this is where the diaper comes in. Yes, this, this is why we wear Being it. on set, it was like if you had to use the restroom, you knew you had to, like, everyone had to take a break for, like, 45 minutes because yeah. it takes forever to get out of it. There was a, that was probably the most difficult thing. Tracy, could there be life on Mars? I think there's always a possibility. And I think that's exactly why we need to go and find out. Yeah. Good so, answer. Yeah, thank you.